Hey guys, I know there's a lot of you out there who are techies. So sometimes it's a little bit tough to do something that's going to be interesting to you or something that, that you haven't seen before. So I thought maybe we would approach this technology a little bit differently. Um, what I wanted to do is kind of do it as a contest and see, well, not like a contest where you'd win a prize, but a contest to see who could figure out what it is that we're looking at here. Oh, I know it's a VCR. But this is a very special VCR, and I wanted to see if you could guess, just by looking at the insides of this VCR, what kind of VCR it is. Yes, it's a VHS VCR, but it, again, this is, this is a very, very special VCR. It does something very special. And nope, it's not a VCR that, that plays back uh, you know, different languages or, or tapes from different countries. You got any other guesses out there? Any others? I heard a couple. Heard a couple of you. All right. If you haven't guessed it by now, I am going to show you the back panel of this VCR and then see if you can figure out what kind of special VCR this is. All right. So we're going to turn it around here on the back. Here, I'm going to unplug video cable here for a second okay so first you'll notice that it has a very strange kind of plug going into the back of it here so this is not a normal kind of plug all right okay see it says video cassette recorder it's uh, made in Korea and not North Korea more than likely South Korea so okay you haven't guessed it by the power plug yet all right all right so what if we come over here and you see all these interesting little connections on here? So we have all of these different pins. We've got alarm in, alarm out, alarm reset, error out, trigger out, tape end out, series out, ground, series in, one shot record in, no stereo, and we've also got these unusual kind of connectors on here. Of course, I have adapters on here, but what kind of VHS machine would have a BNC connector on the back? And just regular mono audio in and out. All right. Well, I've given you two minutes and 45 seconds to figure out what this is. This is a time-lapse VCR. So yes, before the days when we had DVRs that recorded uh, for security systems and for camera systems. We had what are known as time-lapse VCRs. So this is a, a Samsung time-lapse VCR, model SSC960. It has a lot of extra little buttons on it that a normal VCR wouldn't have. Now, a lot of VCRs do have a menu, but we have uh, Shift and V-Lock. We got a tracking set. We have a time mode. Uh, our display is showing something strange there, uh, A00L18H. Then over here we have Rev, audio on, count, CNT memo, clear, reset, um, high fructose corn syrup, oh wait, no, high picture and record lock. Record check, record, play, stop and a jog shuttle control right here so a lot of extra features that you would not find on a uh, typical vcr and uh, that's what we find here in this samsung vcr so this samsung has the ability to record uh, in a time-lapse fashion so it's not going to be like you know uh, you couldn't put like 40 hours worth of movies on one tape but it does have time modes on it and you can record for, I believe, up to, well, as you can see here, it looks like it'll record up to 960 hours on one tape. Now, some of you may, in fact, be better experts on these than me. I have not used a, uh, a time-lapse VCR in a professional setting, so you can correct me if I'm wrong. But then we have these L modes. We have L6 hour, L18, L30, and then it goes to 72, 120, 168, 240. And see, there is a little H there. So 
I'm assuming that means hours. So that would make for a very, very long tape to try and go through. So what is the idea behind it? Well, the idea behind it is that you are recording images every few seconds or every few minutes, depending on how you set it. And uh, the tape is going to uh, provide you with thousands of images that you can scroll through. And let's say you have a camera set up outside your house or your place of business and uh, you want to be able to monitor that area and see if thieves or you know uh, mischievous activity is going on well back in the day you would have done that on a VCR tape so places like 7-eleven or convenience stores gas stations places like that where there's apt to be uh, crazy activity even stores you know like uh, department stores that sort of thing would have had one of these uh, as well or may have had one of these in their establishment so by buying this VCR which I paid four dollars for at a place called Savers um, the idea was to kind of mess around with it a little bit and see uh, what its capabilities are and uh, in doing so I said well I've got to set up a camera and I've got to do my own time-lapse video because I've got to see what this is and how this works so I set up a, a, a camcorder uh, connected to this machine uh, out on my back porch and I was hoping to see deer or cows or horses which are three things that we can possibly see in the uh, the back of our uh, yard in the field behind our house and uh, so I set up the VCR to record for uh, an entire afternoon and in a second here I will show you what is on that video and then I'm going to show you the tape that came with this VCR too because it came with one that uh, I would assume was the location of where it was actually used for security purposes okay so uh, here's our board our circuit board as we kind of saw earlier it's in really good shape everything looks nice and clean the only thing that I noticed about this VCR is that the picture quality has a little bit of static in it so let's take a look at that so first I thought I would show you the menu and the menu looks pretty well like any other menu you've seen on a VCR uh, other than the DVHS VCRs which had very nice fancy menus almost uh, DVD ish quality menus but uh, this is your typical menu you've got your uh, clock set and adjust display mode set up alarm record setup uh, so in other words you could have this machine attached to an alarm system and when the alarm went off it would start recording that kind of thing uh, record mode setup VCR mode setup program setup power loss memory etc all right so that's that part of it now as far as loading a, a tape into it uh, it's not you know un, not unlike any other VCR that you've seen out there so we're going to go ahead and load the tape in and this is the tape that came with the unit so I'll just kind of give you a little insight it's funny when people just leave tapes inside uh, machines that they you know donate it's like really all right so uh, let's see let's get the menu off the screen here and up on the display here you'll see uh, like the time and date going on down there in the current record mode I'm gonna go ahead and hit play so here is um, Here's out looking, I don't know, it looks like it's somebody's front porch, actually. If you look at it close enough there, you'll see uh, on the right bottom, you'll see like a, a little couchish kind of chair sitting there. Um, maybe almost like an outdoor love seat. And then we see like the roof, uh, or the ceiling of the porch there. And we see a light on the outside and light out there by the, uh, by the bushes. This was recorded on January 19th of 2014. And uh, just so happens that January 19th is my birthday. So I was celebrating a birthday on this date. You can see the time down there at the bottom that was 2121 at that uh, particular time of this recording. And you'll notice all the little things, the little, you know, static kind of stuff uh, going around the picture there. So. I would assume this thing has something wrong with the video head. I would imagine a video head on a VCR like this has a lot of hours on it and this one is probably no exception. Let's go ahead and hit pause so you can see, and sorry for the shaky camera here, 
uh, we'll hit pause so there's our pause and see how the the static is still there even though we've got a perfect pause here and uh, and yes this thing will record in color but uh, it just didn't happen on this particular tape there's play let's go ahead and hit fast forward you can see the time progressing down there at the bottom I think this uh, video takes us all the way into the next day so again it's middle of the night here well close to close to night and it's dark out anyway so those regular playback and you can see how the time is going by quicker than it normally would so this was recorded in 18 hour mode so each second of time there now I'm going in reverse each second of time being a, another frame of video I believe and then uh, there we are playing again and then pause and then let's just do the little jog shuttle you can see the little analog uh, noise there in the background changing okay so this was again this was the tape that came with it and then let's kind of see uh, what's happening inside this VCR as we're playing this let's move the light over towards the tape a little bit so you can see it so as we hit play here the play itself seems like it's moving at a normal speed that almost looks like LP speed and then if I hit pause there's pause and then let's do our little move forward here you can see it just inches it forward a little bit at a time jog shuttle in reverse takes it back the other way pretty cool huh so uh, let's go ahead and hit stop on this particular tape which I'll hit there and then uh, let's go ahead move the uh, light out a little bit more and then we'll hit eject see how it loads and unloads all right so there's that tape and then uh, again as I said before um, I made my own tape so let's go ahead and throw that one in there okay so here's my recording hitting play and again we have color and we have a little sparkles still on the screen not quite as many sparkles as we had before but still some sparkles and let's go ahead and just take it into nighttime here I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward there you go you see it getting darker this was at uh, 1708 this was also recorded in 18 hour mode this was on Wow, I can't believe it's been that long ago. I did this on November 7th of last year, 2015. Could be more than that if you're watching this past 2016. So there we go. So now it's dark outside, nighttime. You can just barely see the outline of the trees. I'm going to go ahead and run it back so you can kind of see it become daylight again. So November, so it was just the end of fall, and there was still a little bit of foliage there on that tree you're seeing there on your left. A little bit of green. So there's our pause. No, it's not paused, actually. But notice our little sparkles are gone. The little sparkles are almost completely gone. So that's actually a good sign. There's pause. I can uh, move it ahead. There you go. Now we're at a completely dark portion of the video, and you can see that the sparkles have returned. I don't know if that's the technical term for them, but you see those little, little, uh, little static there, I guess you would call it, in a minor sort of way. And again, even if I pause it, we still have it. So, I hope that you have enjoyed this opportunity 
to see the most amazing VCR ever in the face of mankind and the face of the earth too. Uh, the SSC 960 from Samsung. Just nothing but pure awesome. And hey, plenty of entertainment for uh, $3.99, right? So thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate your support of this channel. And uh, please subscribe, share with a friend, and leave a comment below. And if you're able to guess what kind of VCR was uh, this was uh, at a certain moment in the beginning of the video, just put the time in the comments that you're able to uh, discover what kind of VCR it was. And maybe this circuit board that you're looking at right here may have given it away. See you next time.